Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know my channel's kind of been dead for a while. Um but I am back and soon there will be LP probably tonight if I can get it to render. <laughs> but um besides that though, I decided that I wanted to do a 20 facts video because I saw Hal Diamond do a 7 facts video back uh, 5 months ago and I always said I wanted to do one but I never got around to it. So I thought what's a better time than now? So I'm going to give you guys about 20 random facts about myself because I realize that you guys don't really know anything about me so you can't really understand me that well. So here we go. Number one. I was a varsity cheerleader in high school. Number two, I went to a private high school and elementary school and middle school. That probably explains why I was a varsity cheerleader. Because <laughs> varsity sports weren't that hard to get into. Number three, I was a part of my drama team during my junior and senior years. We did a travel drama team around the southern part of my state. Um of Michigan and it was really fun. It was probably like the best moments of my high school years. Um, number four, I have a disease. Um, for those of you who might see me at PAX, my arm. Um, I have this disease called mangioma and that's why my arm looks kind of like I got bruised up. Um, and that was something I was born with. I was actually ra uh, born with a cord wrapped around my wrist. Um, and I've actually had to get two surgeries on it back when I was in elementary school. Um, most people, it goes away by the time that they are about a year to three years old. It tends to go away, but mine never did. So, I'm kind of with it for the rest of my life. But on a positive note, number five, the farthest west I've been is Chicago. I never have been out west. Um, I have family out west, but I've never been out west. I've been east and south. That's about it. I need to get out more. Um, number six. In college, I was actually a broadcasting major. And I had a minor. I was going to get a minor in theater. Um, number seven. This is very game related. Um, my favorite game is in between either Fable 3 or Ocarina of Time. I kind of always go back and forth between those two. Um, Ocarina of Time has a lot more play replayability than Fable 3. Um, I mean, because really, you can only go through Fable 3 twice. Then it kind of becomes blah. But it's still fun. Especially all the stupid get stuff you get to go do. Um, number 8. A lot of you are going to give me flack for this, but I've never played a Metroid game ever. Um, I really had Metroid games growing up, but I never played them. <laughs> I was always like Dark Cloud 2 and um, anything Zelda or Mario related I was really into. Actually, I didn't play a Mega Man game until this last two months ago, I think, was the first time I played a Mega Man game. And I, the first time I played Earthbound was actually two months ago. So that was a thing. <laughs> Three months ago, so in December. Um, nine. I, like I said, the reason I'm not doing this one, this thing until just now is because, you know, this was a fad. Everybody was doing this. So I figured, why not do it now while it's not really a thing anymore? Um, I also don't like games that are fads. Like, I didn't play, um... Angry Birds for a very, very long time. And I actually stayed away from Flappy Bird. I've still never played Candy Crush. Because I don't like games that are big fads and that everybody and their brother are addicted to and playing. And I just... I don't like that kind of stuff. And I tend to just kind of stay away. And that's why I don't play a lot of newer games right away. Um, the only uh, one that I've kind of gotten into is the Grand Theft Auto. Um... I'm from, back home, where I'm from, is called prison, basically it's a prison area of Michigan. 
And I'm not going to give away the actual city, because that would be weird. But it's basically prison area of Michigan, and it's not Detroit. Um, when I was born, I was actually supposed to have a really, really long name. I was actually supposed to be called Jacqueline Michelle Ann Williams. Jacqueline Michelle being my first name, with a dash in between. Yeah, thank the Lord my parents didn't name me what my grandma wanted me to be named. Um, I'm extremely socially awkward. I don't know how many of you actually have met me in person, but I'm really, really, really awkward. But, for some odd reason, I won best personality in high school. But apparently, everybody's a little socially awkward, huh? <laughs> Number 13. I can make my shoulder blade pop all the time, but I'm actually not double-jointed. It's kind of more arthritis and a mix of a few other things that makes my shoulder do that. But, you know, it's weird. Um, along with other weird things I can do, number 14, it's I can actually make my lip quiver. Um, like, I can do the puppy dog eyes and, like, make my lip actually quiver like I'm about to cry. And that actually leads to be number 15. I can actually make myself cry. I've done this to Akira Yawada a few times. I've kind of made him feel absolutely horrible <laughs> when he cried. <laughs> And then I smile, and then he calls me bad names and stuff. But, you know, whatever. Um, but I am actually number 16. I'm a scaredy cat when it comes to video games. Um, I played Modern Warfare 2 with Clip B. And the entire time, I'm screaming and yelling and going, I'm going to get you! Oh my God, it's the entire time. It was great. Um, he, I don't think I've ever heard him laugh that hard, ever. Um, I'm 21, it's number 17, I'm 21, but I've never drank. I've had maybe a sip of alcohol, like half a sip of alcohol since I've turned 21. Uh, yeah. Eh, you know, drinking's whatever. Um, number 18, I've never actually been on a date. <laughs> Um, to where, like, a guy has just asked me out and everything like that. So, I've never been on a date. Hooray! Um, number 19, my first kiss was when I was 17. Um, it was just kind of like an awkward thing. It just kind of happened. So, you know, I don't even know if I should count that as my first kiss, but it was. Um... And number 20, when I was saying I'm socially awkward, this is kind of what it leads to. Um, in large crowds, I literally become mute. I won't talk. Um, so if if I'm talking to you, let's say, in a crowd of play people that I'm not comfortable with or I don't know, I will probably shut up and it will probably look like I'm very stuck up, but it's because I'm scared to death. Um, it's kind of something I've dealt with since forever but yeah that's 20 things guys that y'all didn't know probably about me and if you did well fine you know things about me that i didn't know you knew <laughs> all right um so soon hopefully the lp will be out hopefully i can get rendered today if not it will be out tomorrow um, before I leave for work. It was supposed to be out earlier today, but rendering is a thing that I'm having problems with, so yeah. Alright. Bye-bye. Love you all.